Hi, it's Brad Dillon for EatStopEat.com and today I want to talk to you about growth hormone in exercise. We all know that intense exercise boosts growth hormone levels, but what we don't know is what effect what you ate prior to your workout has on your GH levels. There's a group led by Capon in 1993 that looked at this by examining what happened after 10 minutes of intense exercise if 45 minutes before these people had either a placebo, some aspartame, a high fat meal, which was heavy cream, or a glucose meal. The fat and glucose meals were about 500 calories, so not overly large meals, but sufficient. What happened was, obviously, after the placebo, growth hormone levels peaked uh, about 20, 20 minutes after exercise and stayed elevated for, for about an hour. Interestingly, after the glucose, you know, it, it wasn't much different. It was smaller, but, but not significant. Here's where it gets really interesting. The fat meal actually suppressed growth hormone levels, and it did so significantly. So fat pre-workout actually had an effect of lowering growth hormone levels, which is very contrary to what a lot of people think these days, saying that it's actually glucose that affects growth hormone levels and fat doesn't. But really what Capon's research shows us is just any meal that has calories is going to lower your GH levels. doesn't mean you shouldn't eat, but it just means that if you get the full effect from your exercise, perhaps eating high doses of fat and or sugar before or immediately after your exercise might not be the best idea. So I'm Brad Peel for eatstopeat.com and that's growth hormone for exercise.